Yo, what's up, guys? I hope you very well. I'm good. Thanks, God. So, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ule Zama. I'm a photographer and content creator based in Haiti. I have a lot of questions. Why I use DaVinci Resolve other than like Premiere Pro or Final Cut? First of all, I use PC. So, Final Cut is not mine. So, <laughs> Premiere Pro, I use Premiere Pro, but not so much. So, Today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you two things and show you how as a beginner you can edit, you can get DaVinci Resolve and use DaVinci Resolve to edit your video for your YouTube channel, your TikTok, your Instagram Reels, whatever. So let's go. I use DaVinci Resolve for two reasons. First, the first reason is DaVinci Resolve as a free version. So you can download, download it for free and you can use it for to edit your video. The second reason is DaVinci Resolve didn't give me so like crash when I'm editing huge project. <laughs> so that the that the only two reasons I use DaVinci Resolve. So it's more like the workflow is better. You have all you need on those, like an, in one program and the, I, I really like it. So I'm gonna show you now what you need to know as a beginner to edit on DaVinci Resolve. Like you're gonna know how you can edit your video very fastly on DaVinci Resolve and upload it on YouTube, TikTok, whatever. So when you open DaVinci Resolve, you have this panel. So you're not, you're not gonna have your, all that stuff. You're gonna have only one like on titles, on title project. What we're gonna do is create new project. So first of all, if you want to know how you can download DaVinci Resolve for free, so you can get, you can watch my video just over there and you're gonna see how you can download DaVinci Resolve for free and install it on your, on your computer. So let's go. First of all, you need to create a new project and you, we're gonna, uh, let's say it's test, okay? Test YouTube. Enter to create a new project and voila. You have this panel. So I have the last version, the 18 one. So maybe if you have the 17 is the same thing okay so this is the so just we're gonna skip all that part you don't need to know like as a beginner to start here so we're gonna jump in the edit panel just click and you have this one don't don't overthinking so it's it's simple what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a project let me show you. We're gonna open, like create a project. First, in the master program, you're gonna click and click and click, right click and new bin. We're gonna say, we're gonna call it time, timeline. It's very important when you edit your video to like set, make, like set up your workflow to, to have your workflow more easy to understand and the second one is gonna be wash wash is like video all that stuff and the third one is gonna be music and the second one let's say be wood so if you have like we have four folder now timeline wash music and bureau that's very important to organize your space the timeline we're gonna click on the timeline okay just come here click and timeline, create new timeline. We're gonna say test video. Just do okay, just create. You're good, create. You always have this. So by default, you're gonna have a 1080p, 9020 and 1080 timeline. It's not a problem. So after we're gonna see in the export tab, how you can export at as 4k timeline 
but when you edit on 1080p timeline but you can export at 4k timeline so don't worry so we have our timeline now and now we're gonna click on rush we're gonna import so some rush to put here in this folder just double click and create let's say import bin import media is the same thing it's a little bit complicated but bin and media don't worry is the same for now it's the same thing so let's say we're gonna have um test reels i'm gonna just click and take whatever okay of video for example this video this is the video when you double click maybe you can have this like this this corner just double click and you're gonna have your preview video here and your program video here so let's say we have this folder we're gonna hit play and just press i to create or input when you start to talking when you're gonna start to talking you just to create or input let's say just here i on your keyboard and your output when you like you done and just click o o to create your output and just grab just drag take the videos like this and drag very easily and now you can see it you have your videos on your program so it doesn't matter if you see the video like vertical format because i shoot in portrait mode for tiktok so if you want to create this like um to get your timeline your timeline like the test video timeline in portrait you can do it but let's say we have some horizontal video okay so landscape video we're gonna click over there let's zoom it to just have the or video like uh, okay the full version let's say like that Yo, what's up? and now you have your video now so very important if you have a video you just you can put some b-roll on your video b-roll is like some videos you have to put when you're talking about something let's say you're talking about a project you want you need to see you want to um show this this products so like i said before you go on b-roll right click import media and let's say i'm talking about this lens the eight okay i have it now and i just i can just come here and choose a print or in print and out print let's say i'm gonna create some let's say put it on slow motion okay so that way we're gonna do a video tutorial like how to do slow motion properly on davinci resolve don't worry about that and now now you don't gonna grab the video here because if you grab it here you have the sound and the video very important but you need only the video which come here just this um uh, let's say um, icon icon just click and drag only this one don't take the video here very important and now you have your b-roll if you put here you can see it let's zoom it okay let's zoom it like this okay you can see it now you have your b-roll just easy like that okay boom that's it let's say if you're talking about something on the video and you need to cut this part or part when you like a part you don't like in the video very simple you just come here and this is um the cut icon just click on it and come over here and just click and now you can see it you have a cut and you're gonna choose the other part you want to cut the in in the out you just click again this let after you using or or tools on DaVinci's on DaVinci's or, or whatever program 
you need to um, select the deselect button select mode a ah, raccourci a shortcut not raccourci is french so shortcut a to deselect your tools so just come here and delete on the keyboard and just grab this part of the video and just drag it and boom you're done so this is the very simple let's say we're gonna put some music under the video the voice so just come here music right click and get import media let's choose our music music voila and go you have the music you choose your, your input that's it you put it you come to just the end same thing cut a to select and select delete you have it so now you have the, mu the music and the voice so the music can't be more like more than your voice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna like we use the volume of we're gonna reduce the volume of the music very simple just come over here if you don't see this panel it's it's, it's the expected panel so just click on it and you have it and you come here to music audio and you're just gonna grab this part and just drag to left to uh, to like put down the volume or right to up okay very simple let's say we're gonna put it at 20 let's play let's reduce the volume again and it depends of the music the beat it depends of your voice you're gonna see how you gonna do it properly so that's all if you want to put some images on the on the top of the video same thing b wall right click open media import media choose your picture let's say we're gonna choose the this picture open and drag it you can for pictures you can just drag it because a picture it doesn't animate so that's it put it that's it that's it very simple and for me it's done what you can do after so you can just come here and import media again if you have a logo to put in at the end of the video so you can just uh, import your logo let's say i have uh, i don't i don't think i have a logo on my computer if, yeah it's it's wrong but okay don't worry let's say i have a logo okay that's good let's say import and you need to put the logo after at the end of the video very simple just drag it and you have a logo if you need to make sure to make sure to have your logo in png mode okay very important to know to don't have um like background color if you need to zoom out your logo very simple select your logo and come here to video zoom just drag to left and your logo just uh, zoom out your logo and if you need to put some other colors on the background like let's say we, we need to put white color in the background very simple you just come here on effects tab and generators and solid color just drag and now you have a color here choose your color white yellow green blue the color you want and that's it now we're gonna export the video very important part of this tutorial you need to create an input at the same thing like you am you gonna select your video in the timeline just come over here i on your keyboard and just at the end of the video o on your keyboard and after that you just come to this part the render tab and let's say you have your video now okay davinci resolve is not like premiere pure you're gonna like it do the shortcut control con the shortcut control m to m export it's not the same thing you need to come here and select your input and your 
in your out point. Why? Because if you don't select the in in the out point, if you have something just at the end, so on the timeline, DaVinci Resolve gonna export all the timeline. Because for DaVinci Resolve, all this spot is timeline. Very important, guys. And now we're gonna choose our selection, your, our location to export the video. Let's say we're gonna export it on your on video and just do a name, test, video, make sure to have, if you are, if you are on Mac, it doesn't matter, you can leave it and at uh, on the quick time but i on pc i prefer the mp4 very important and the timeline resolution 90 20 by 80 1080 hd that's the hd version you can leave all that stuff as is as this one you don't need to do anything else but if you need to export at 4k you just come here and click and choose the 4k version the 3080 3040 and 2160 that's very important but we're gonna leave at 10 db and after that you just come here and add to render queue very simple like this and after that you just click on render all and your video is like now exporting I don't use the color tab because it's more complicated. If you want to know how you can color grade your footage, you can watch all my videos I have already on my channel for that. So, but for this video, like to edit fastly your video for YouTube, TikTok, or whatever, that's all you need to know. After that, you're gonna make some practice to know more about the program, to know more skills, to like develop more skills to know more tools on the program to know how you can use text all that stuff so if you want very quickly if you want to put text the same thing generator effect generators titles not generators and choose text drag your text and now you have your text and you can just put a name like say you need to put a name for your video and after that you just come here to settings position zoom you can do what you want if you need to change your font you can just come here titles title font family and choose your font very simple like this very simple so that's it guys for this video i hope you like it if yes give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friend your family and leave me a comment below to know to ask me something so if you want to know something about resolve about photo about uh, content leave a comment below and i'll see you in the next video